Good day everyone, it's Chanel here and today I have the guest bedroom makeover, reveal and tour. Stay tuned in. Today I have the entire bedroom reveal, room reveal. Now remember this is a guest room and it's not a room that is used on an everyday basis. Um, it is used every day, but uh, because it has a little office section over here on the opposite side, which I'm not gonna show that part over here on this end of the room, but it is a well-used room for guests when they do come to the house. Now in this room, remember, I am using things that I pretty much already had on hand, things that I did purchase, the new bed, and that was done before, that was done before we were all in the house. And I will link uh, that in the description box or put the place where I did purchase the bed. It was tall or had nice height because of the room and the height in the room and how long or expansive the walls are in the room and for me it clips here where we made a bench i made a bench for the room and recovered the bench and i'm going to finish that part of the bench out it is not completely done because the fabric that i had i'm using what i had on hand and so yeah that didn't work out quite the way i planned but it does look nice and it'll work for now and then we have the cabinet that is behind me and that it was in its rich wood form and that I took it and stripped the entire thing down to the natural wood. I added back all the original hardware on it because I do like the original hardware very, very much. Thought it brought it more into this era, just choosing to use it in its natural wood form. It exposed hinges on it and these are the original hinges as well i like the fact that when you open the cabinet that the doors come all the way around and fold all the way to the side I'll show you in a previous video and i will leave that link down below as well where i repainted the accent tables that were on either side of the bed as well and then the lamps that i have placed in here as well and so this particular wall over here on this side was just what i had and I did the beautiful doves, I'm calling them beautiful, where I did the dove while art a few weeks ago. And I'll leave that in the description box as well if you want to replicate something like this on your wall. And again, it's just some DIY wall art that will do what needs to be done for now. And then I have this wall over here. Um, for me, I can actually leave this wall blank but I do have some frames and I did a DIY wall art installation for this particular wall, which I'm going to show you now. And I used old frames that I already had. I cut the mats out myself and put the little buttons in there, cut them down, put them and framed it all. And that's how this wall ended up coming to be. And all of the other elements in the room, and I hope you enjoyed the video.
Now this particular piece here that is at the end of the bed is usually called a bed scarf. Now you can call it a bed scarf or you can call it a bed runner. Now they usually use these in hotels or they did use them in hotels and they would be draped at the end of the bed. It is normally a pretty piece of fabric that somehow coordinates with the accessories that are on the when you come into the room if there's not a bench or a table to sit your luggage on it helps to protect the comforter that is on top of the bed so when you're bringing your luggage just in case if it's been on wheels or whatever and you place it on top of the bed it will not stain or soil the comforter and that's where bed scarves or bed runners came from now you can use the name intertwined pretty much the same thing. We use them for decorative purposes. Now some people roll up a comforter and fold it at the end of the bed. It doesn't have much of a function, as you can see, because it is normally a half. It is not a entirely whole piece that you can fold over and use for covering. Now you can use this for covering. You can use it almost like a weighted blanket because if you make something like this, which I do make custom make, these particular items, bed scarves or bed runners, to coordinate with my pillows. And I'll be, but that'll be coming very soon to my website. So you'll be able to log on there. And if you want to purchase something like that, it will be available to you. When you use a bed scarf or a bed runner, as I have here, you can take either a queen size or a king size comforter, fold it in half, and you will place it inside of the bed runner or bed scarf and that gives it that nice plush look that it has when it sits at the end of the bed it is a beautiful enhancement to the end of the bed because the bed doesn't appear to be just long once you put the comforter on the bed and you don't have anything at the end of the bed and again it's just an extra adornment that you can have on your bed that will coordinate usually with your pillows your boudoir pillows, your regular bed pillows, your regular shams, and your euros that it coordinates with. Now it could be one solid color, it can be a print, it can be many different colors, whatever options that are out there. And again, I will be featuring those on my website for sale coming up very, very soon. And so again, I want to thank everybody for joining me here. This has been Chanel for joining me for the room makeover. Again, using items that I already had in the home and some that I made and also like the birds. That are so again, thank you for joining me. This has been Chanel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next one.